On January 28, 1986, the space shuttle Challenger lifted off for its 10th flight. On board were seven crew members, astronauts and one civilian school teacher, Christy McCullough. 73 seconds into the flight, the Challenger exploded, killing all seven crew members. The morning of the flight was unusually cold for Florida, with temperatures below freezing and ice blanketing the launch pad. The previous day, rocket engineers at a NASA subcontractor warned about operating in such extreme temperatures, and they had one video conference call to convince NASA to delay the mission. Unfortunately, they failed to convince NASA managers to abort the mission. While it isn't clear exactly what data was displayed and how it was displayed at that meeting, documents presented to the subsequent investigation do a poor job of linking O-ring failure to temperature and don't address the predicted temperatures for the actual launch time. Notice the rockets are ordered in their manufacture order not by the temperature in which they were flown. Well thought out graphical presentation of data is a critical persuasion tool. Prominent visual data analysis have suggested that a simple and clear graphic highlighting the discrepancy between the known operating temperatures and the predicted temperature would have been far more persuasive and could have saved the Challenger and her crew.